Carla sat beside you today. He's so cute. Sabi niya, I'm pretty. Kaya lang, I'm fat. I eat too much kasi. Mula ngayon, goodbye chocolates. Goodbye spaghetti. Goodbye hot dogs. Ay, goodbye, Carlo. Magandang buhay, mga momshies! Popshies! Anak, shies! Thank God it's Friday! Yes! Ang bilis ng panahon, ano? Friday na naman! Yes! Kamusta kayong lahat dyan all over doon sa ating mga kababayan? True! At huwag natin kalimutan ang ating mga... Virtual audience! Hello sa ating mga virtual audience! Kamusta kayo dyan? Chill lang kayo dyan dahil meron tayong guest for today. Excited na ba kayong lahat? Yes naman, Mom Shi! Ayun na nga at huwag na natin patagalin at ipakilala na natin ang yung pinakaabangan. Let's all welcome our STEM Ambassador and STEM Ambassadress. Mr. Gian Amiblan Kimira Kosho. Hello! Magandang buhay Mr. Gian and Ms. Kimira. Magandang buhay po mga mom shees. Wow naman, iba talaga ang aura ng ating Mr. Ambassador and Miss Ambassadress. Blooming ano? Kaya nga mom she. Parang may something. True ka dyan mom she. Hmm. I thank you po mga mom she. Balita ko mga mom she. Meron silang advocacy na nagtitrending sa online world. Wow naman, sige nga. Huwag na natin patagalin pa. Kapamilya, virtual audience, mga momshies, halina't alamin natin at panoorin ang kanilang advocacy video. Natural phenomena such as typhoons and earthquakes confronted us for this year. This natural phenomena that if we are not aware and not able to prepare ourselves, can cause big damage. Not only on individual aspect, but also in economic aspect. One of these phenomena that we could not fully foresee is the earthquake. The occurrence of earthquake is unpredictable. This is what it makes them so dangerous. It is disastrous of all natural calamities, which catches life in a property in a short period of time. We should not be afraid of it, but rather be prepared for it. The assurance of safety cannot be assured by anybody unless we are aware of earthquake's consequences and get prepared for it. One of the very basic preparations that we could do before it is by having an emergency plan. As to where your family will reunite if separated and having an emergency kit with non-perishable goods, water, first aid supplies, flashlights, any personal items you may need such as medications, toiletries, and clothing. This emergency kit must be checked regularly so that when the time comes, it will be a great help to survive before the authorities rescue and release operation. During the earthquake, drop, hold, and cover is still the basic thing to do. Panicking would not help in this situation but instead stay calm and get focused on the situation. It is important to think about what you will do to protect yourself wherever you are. The drop, hold, and cover position is to reduce the injuries. The main point is to not try to move but to immediately protect yourself as best as possible wherever you are. After the earthquake, do not immediately move but check yourself for injuries and provide first aid for it. Authorities will be securing the area and if recommended to evacuate, evacuate immediately and follow the authorities' instructions. Being ready is important in surviving and recovering from a disaster. That is why make a plan, build a kit, stay informed, be prepared, 
Be aware, be ready, and you will be safe. Ayun, at pakita na nga natin ang kanilang advocacy video. Wow naman, napakaganda naman ang inyong mga mensahe. Napakagaan ang loob ka ni Ra and Gian. Correct ka dyan, Ma'am Shi. By the way, Miss Camira Kosho, sino ang spiritual mo in making that kind of video? Kasi for me, napakaganda ang panoorin ang lalim ng message. Sa totoo lang mga Ma'am Shi, na-inspire ako ng mga tao na ka-experience ng great effects ng earthquake every single day. I made this video para maging aware ang lahat na we should work together para labanan ang trying times na ito na ating na-experience. Correct ka dyan, Miss Kaimira. So, Kaimira and Gia, kailangan ba talaga natin magtulungan? Kung ganun, sino sa tingin nyo ang makaka-benefit sa ginawa ng advocacy? Well, we all know kung sino makabenefit ng advocacy. And tayong lahat yun. Because dapat aware din tayo and have a knowledge to know what to do before, during, and after an earthquake. Correct, Mr. Gian. Dapat talaga aware tayo. So, Miss Kainira, what are your ways to help those people who are affected by the earthquake as an ambassador? Yes, palagi talaga siyang may ibang feeling for me. At willing din ako mag-donate ng mga things na tingin ko na hindi ko naman magagamit. At magbibigay din ako ng funds para sa mga foods, water, at syempre mga tools sa hygiene ng mga girls. Like sanitary napkins. Kasi we women also need support in terms sa ating hygiene. Kasi sa time natin ngayon, always na lang natin focus ang mga foods at hindi na natin kinoconsider ang needs nating mga babae. Kaya, I'm promoting women empowerment through crisis. Yes, yes, tama yan, Ms. Kainira. Lahat naman tayo need ng support, need ng support para sa hygiene natin. Correct ka dyan, Ma'am Shi. And lahat naman tayo nakaranas ng earthquake. By the way, sinunod nyo ba ang duck cover and hold while naglilindol? Siyempre, normally, lahat tayo nagpapanik. Pero gusto naming malaman kung anong ginawa ninyo. Yes, I did the duck cover and hold. And para maging safe ako kasi safety comes first na diba? So, I need to protect myself by following the safety. Ako naman mga mom Shia, first I always calm myself and I also do the dock cover and hold for my own safety. And while having an earthquake, I also pray para maging safe ako. Kasi di ba minsan si Lord natatawag natin kapag may earthquake, so I am one of them. Yes naman, amen. Dapat mag-pray din tayo para maligtas tayo ni Lord. And salamat nga pala sa ating mga guests for today, our SEM Ambassador and Miss Ambassadress, Mr. Gian and Miss Kainira. Magandang buhay! Maraming salamat din mga momshies! Magandang buhay! Thank you po! Naku mga momshie! Napaka-grateful naman natin at nakasama natin ang ating guest for today. Ang ganda naman kasi ng advocacy nila. Kaya hindi ako nagtataka kung bakit nag-trending ito sa online world. Correct ka dyan, Mom Shi. So anyways, ang aking napulot sa hashtag POTD or Pulot of the Day ay dapat while nag-earthquake, kagaya ng sabi ng ating Mr. Ambassador, i-follow natin ang safety procedure in earthquake. True. And Mom Shi, ako ang napulot ko sa hashtag POTD natin ay dapat stay calm lang tayo and huwag magpanik. Dapat unahin din natin ang sarili natin bago ang mga gamit para mag-safe din tayo. Correct, Mom Shi. Ako naman ang napulot ko sa hashtag POTD ay dapat mag-pray tayo na sana safe tayo at i-guide tayo ni Lord. Kasi hindi naman tayo pababayaan ng Panginoon, hindi ba? Correct ka dyan, Mom. She dapat keep safe tayo lagi and enjoy life.
maraming maraming salamat nga pala sa inyong pagsama sa amin. And bukas, makita-kita ulit tayo para sa mga masasayang kwento. Bagong kaalaman, sabay tayong matuto. Dito nang yan, syempre kung saan may... Magandang... Magandang... Buhay! destruction. The month of March. The time of the year that Ferdinand Marcos declared as a fire prevention month in 1986 due to the alarming fire incidents that are occurring in the country. We, the fire prevention officers, will provide precautions to lower the possibility of fire incidents. One. Don't leave your kitchen. A few seconds is all it takes for a fire to break out. This is why you never want to leave your cooking food unattended. If you have to leave the kitchen for any reason, turn off the pot of boiling noodles first. If for whatever reason you can turn off the oven, Call someone into the kitchen to watch the food until you get back. Two. Maintain all cords. Before you plug something in, make sure that the cord hasn't been frayed or chewed. If you do notice damaged wires, replace them as soon as possible or cover them up with an electrical tape because this is a huge fire hazard. Three. Properly store flammable products, household cleaners and common cosmetic items, like hairspray and shaving cream, can be hazardous. If they are exposed to a large heat source, they can combust. You want to keep them away from space heaters and store them in a safely cool area. Four. Practice cautions with candles. Everyone loves scented candles, especially around the holidays. But if you don't use them carefully, they could cause a fire. Make sure you put them out before your exit or room. and keep them far away from blankets or other objects. If you feel yourself drifting to sleep, get up and blow the candle out. Never put them on an uneven surface like a carpet because it's too easy for them to tip over. If you have pets, make sure lit candles stay out of their reach. Five. Keep fire extinguishers around. Fire extinguishers are your best defense weapon when a fire breaks out. You want to make sure you have one in every room that is a potential threat such as the kitchen. Every family member should know how to use a fire extinguisher so if a fire does happen, it can be put out as fast as possible. Only you can help prevent house fires. to play Family Feud! Let's give it up for Steve Marty! How are you folks doing? Thank you very much. Well, welcome to Family Feud, everybody. I'm your man, Steve 
Marley. And boy, we got another good one for you today. From the land of Japan, it's the Alonzo. Emily from the land of China, it's the Barretto family. Everybody's here trying to win themselves a lot of cash and the possibility of driving out of here in a brand new head turning Ford Fusion. Are you guys ready? Give me the Alonzo family. Can you introduce your family, Aljani? Yeah, this is my beautiful older sister, Tony. This is my clingy younger sister, Mabel, Cedric, and Rochelle, my cousins. Give me the Barreto family. Sounds like Halloween is coming. Okay, so introduce your family, Jairo. So, uh, this is my brother, Humphrey. This is Princess, Gert, and Ali, my cousins who live with us. Okay, let's go. Here we go, guys. Top five questions on the board. Oh, Johnny and Jairo, in front, please. What are the things that you will bring during a volcanic eruption? Mm. Oh, Johnny. First aid kit. Jairo. Um, important documents, I guess. Okay, let's see on the board. The Alonzo family got 48 points. Oh yeah, nice one. Time for the second question, folks. Mabel and Princess in front, please. Hi, beautiful ladies. Hi, hi. How do you do, darlings? I'm kind of nervous, but I can't really give an excellent answer. I'm doing great. I can still believe that I'm playing with live things. <laughs> so, are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Yes, we're ready. Alright, here's the question. What will you do if you're near in the volcano? <coughs> Princess. Um, wear a face mask. Maybe. Bring any communication device. Let's see on the top five answers on the board. Princess did gave an excellent answer. Okay. Time for the third question, folks. Tony and Kurt, please. Hey, how are you doing, man? I'm Tony. And you, Tony? Oh, yeah, I'm good. All right. The third question is, what are the effects of volcanic eruption to the community? Um, I think I would go with severe economic lo losses. You sure about that? Yeah, sure. And you, Kurt? For me, I'll go with poverty within the community. Let's see about that. She really stinks, folks. She's not joking. Mm-mm. Alright, let's go to the fourth question. Rochelle and Rumfrey. Okay, the question is, how to minimize the impacts of volcanic eruption to the community? Mm. Hey, hey, go easy on the buzzer, man. It looks like you want to hurt somebody. So, what's your answer? Conduct seminars. Rumfrey? Well, you in another place, mate. Okay, let's see if your answer is on the board. It's on the board. R Rochelle got the higher answer. This is the last question. Cedric and Ali, come in front. How are you guys? How are you, Cedric? I'm a positive. I'm positive. I'm positive all day. I'm a positive person, not positive in COVID. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Ali? I'm there. But if we're not going to win this game, probably I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Kidding. Huh. Okay, let's start the fifth question. What are the countries that are included in the Pacific King of Fire? Top five answers on the board. Mm. Oh, man! Ali Hand was fast. So, what's your answer? Philippines. You said Jake. United States of America. All right, let's see if that's on the board. You got it right, Ali. Okay, let's total the overall points. Let us all give applause to our winners, the Alonzo family. Thank you so much for the two family, and Alonzo family and the Barreto family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
always remember, it is always better to be ready either the said disaster will happen or not. Because being ready and knowing what you will do are also for our safety and to save the lives of one another. God bless us all. Keep safe, mga pre. Let me educate you about this disaster. When the upper mass of the soil gets separated from the lower layers and travels downslope, then it is called a landslide. It can also be referred to as a landslip or a mudslide. Landslides can be caused by numerous reasons. It could be natural causes such as volcanic eruption, soil erosion, and heavy rainfall. Or it could be human activities like mining and deforestation. It is because it increases the fragility of the land, making it more prone to landslide. A landslide can either move very slow, like some millimeters per year, or it could be disastrously fast, sometimes more than 100 miles per hour. But if you are living on unelevated land without hills or mountain, then there is little to no chance of experiencing landslide. Don't worry, we have some tips. Avoid building houses near steep slopes or at the edges of the mountains. Stay away from drainage paths or rivers because water flowing is the speed of the landslide. Here's some trivia. Landslide can happen underwater too and it is called summery landslide. So, what are we going to do? in fighting against different mass wasting and pollution. Immediately remove the storm water runoff which reduces erosion. And that's not all! It produces oxygen while perfectly moisturizing our atmosphere. Unlike its alternatives, it protects our ecosystem, helps human flourishing, and aesthetically enriches our landscape. The special, unique, irreplaceable tree! Can you imagine the world without the benefits of their presence reach far beyond their reach. Trees planted today will offer social, environmental, and economic benefits for future generations. Let us plant and take care of them. Our world is so pure, so good, and beneficial. Keep it green. And CN. News and current affairs. Transparent and efficient service. For the headlines. Typhoon Goni is spiraling across the Philippines, bringing with it catastrophic winds and rain. Kevin Governor raises alert for tropical storm rain. Broadcasting live from the Republic of the Philippines, this is NCN Philippines, your advancement for public service. News on air. One vision, one community, unity and diversity. Good day Philippines! Magandang araw Pilipinas! Today is Monday, 29th day of March and we are live here at Biggest Broadcasting Company. And for the details of our news, 
Quezon Governor raises alert for tropical storm outing. Further details live at Quezon Provincial Capital, here is Samuel Suleiman. Samuel, what is the latest update? A severe tropical storm outing intensifies. Quezon Governor Decibel Dacalano has ordered all disaster management teams in the province to prepare for the first typhoon to enter of the era of responsibility this year. In his Memorandum Order 139 issued for February 18, the Calanya tasked the Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction Management Council and their counterparts in all local governments in the province to undertake necessary precautionary measures and comprehensively monitor any untoward incidents in the respective area of responsibility. It is not yet expected to bring heavy rains today, but there is an increasing likelihood of heavy rainfall affecting Calabarzon, Cavite, Laguna, Batangas, Quezon, Rizal, and other provinces over the weekend through Monday. The Calanyo said, The eye of the typhoon was spotted some 535 kilometers east-southeast of the Hinatuan Surigal del Sur at 10 a.m., packing maximum sustained winds of 95 km per hour near the center of Gustinus of up to 115 km per hour. Ali, we are here live with Quezon Governor Decibel de Calanyo. Governor, what are your perceptions about the said typhoon? Since it is the first typhoon that will landfall to the country, we are trying to do our best to prepare for it. I ordered instantly the memorandum to urge the Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction Management Council and their counterparts in all local government in the province. Thank you, Governor of Quezon Province, Decibel Dacalano. This has been Samuel Suleiman, NCN Philippines. to the weather forecast. Now, let's see what the weather's like today in the country. Typhoon Ring will bring stormy weather in northern Luzon, while southern monsoon will bring occasional rains in Palawan and Batanes. Stormy weather and very rough seas can be expected in Batanes and Cagayan, both of which are under storm signal number 2. The provinces of Papayao and Isabela should brace for rains and gusty winds. The entire provinces of Visayas and the province of Palawan and Luzon are more likely to experience occasional rain due to the monsoon. The following areas in Luzon can expect light to moderate rains and isolated thunderstorms. According to Pagasa, the rest of the country is more likely to experience isolated thunderstorms and partly cloudy skies. Moderate to strong winds will prevail in the country on the upcoming days. Thus, ocean waters all over the country will be moderate to rough. This has been your weather forecaster, Nicole Miles G. Swagger. You're still watching NCN Philippines. Typhoon Goni is barreling across the Philippines, bringing with it catastrophic winds and rain. Further details, here's Tony Sedusta. In Quezon Province, power supplies were cut in 10 towns after the typhoon toppled trees. Forecasters on Sunday morning had warned of catastrophic violent winds and intense to torrential rainfall. At least 10 people have died amid reports of storm surges, flash floods, power outages, and blown-off roofs. Goni made landfall as a super typhoon at Catanduanes Island on Sunday at 4.50 local time, packing winds of 225 kilometers per hour. It has since weakened but is still wrecking damage across the main Luzon Island, home to the capital, Manila. President Rodrigo Duterte is monitoring the disaster response from his home in Davao City. A presidential spokesman said, Mark Timbal of the Philippines National Disaster Agency said that 19 million people may have been affected by the path of Goni. This 19 million already includes the populations in danger zones for landslides, flooding, storm surges, and even a lava flow. He told the BBC, the residents in the said area were evacuated immediately since the local government was able to prepare. Ali, we are here live with the resident in Catanduanes Island, Sir Owen. Sir Owen, what were your ways to survive the typhoon? Prior to the typhoon, we are informed of what we should do in order to be prepared and be safe during and after the typhoon. The LGU urged us to immediately evacuate in the evacuation area. 
we brought some of the canned goods we have in our home and other materials for emergency purposes such as batteries, medicine, flashlights, and some clothes. We are actually quite prepared from the said typhoon. However, we can't reduce the risks that are being imposed by the hazards. But now, we are safe in the evacuation area and the problem we are mostly facing right now is lack of food and water supply. In addition, we are also encouraged to be proactive regarding the COVID-19 transmission in our city. We are hoping for some donations and help coming from other LGUs if that. We are grateful to everyone, prayer and support. Thank you, Sir Owen. This has been Tony Sadusta reporting. And those were the top stories for this hour. This has been your unbiased and truth upholding, Ali Kamsa. Embracing the diverse culture in the country. Giving you a global perspective and the national coverage always ahead. MCN!